Okay, I got a math problem. Um, and there's a data set and a table and an equation and it says to plot the residuals. So using Desmos, um, first I'm going to add a table. So if you click on the plus button, add item, there's table and you can put in your X values. So um, in this instance, it goes zero through seven. And then the Y values are, um, in this case, it's price for each year. Okay, so it has um, the data plotted right here. And um, I'm gonna do a line of best fit for this. So that's not requested in the actual problem, but because <laughs> um, I, I know that it will, um, be helpful so i'm going to show you how to do that and you can do line of best fit for lines or different shapes so i'm going to do um the basic slope intercept form and instead of an equal sign you use the little squiggly line so click on abc there's a squiggly line down here on the bottom row and then it's mx plus b but I forgot, you have to do like the, um, oops, you have to do the X1 and Y1 like in the columns. So this is Y1 and X1 plus B, where M is the slope, Y and X is the data in the columns, and B is the, the, the intercept here. Um, and this shows you um, a bunch of data for the line of best fit for this data set that we're given. So you could rewrite the equation um, y equals, it looks like right here, let me get my arrow <laughs> so I can show you what I'm pointing at. Um, the slope and the line of best fit is 0 0.4996, so that could be 0 0.5. And the intercept is 6.312, which is right here. Um, it also gives you R, which is your correlation coefficient. Um, and the closer it is to one or negative one, um, shows how good a fit that line is to the data set. So this is at 0 0.8. So it's a, it's a pretty good fit. If it were at like 0 0.3, it would not be a good fit at all. So this is like a pretty good fit to the data. And then right here we have residuals, um, which the problem I was given does ask for. So if I turn off my arrow, <laughs> I'm going to click on plot for plot the residuals and it plots the residuals down here. Um, so this is the residuals for the line of best fit. And all that means is how far, like, so this is the original point data point, and this is the line. So this is how far it is from the line. That's what these spaces are how far each data point is from the line. So if you look at this, it looks like it's like one, two, three, three squares up. And right here, this is three squares up. And this one is like almost directly on the line. And this one is one square down. 
So the residuals are kind of like a different way to look at how well the data fits the line, okay? Um, there's a really long formula for that. <laughs> um, and the formula um, given for the line of best fit in the problem that somebody sent to me is 0.5x plus 6.31. So that's basically the line of best fit that's shown right here. Um, this black line using this formula here. So these are the residuals. And um, if you were to graph the residuals on a piece of graph paper, this is what it would look like these red points right here. Um, and then the second part of the problem that was sent to me is explain whether or not the linear function is a good fit for this data set. Well, as I mentioned before, the, the R, the correlation coefficient, the R value is 0 0.8. So that is a good fit um, because it's closer to one than it is to zero. And if we look at the residuals here, um, except for maybe two of them, most of them are very close to the X axis. So that means they are close to the line. And, and even if we were to look at the line of best fit, the y equals 0.5x plus 6.31. Um, most of the data points are very close to the line. Um, so it is a fairly good fit. Okay, I hope this was helpful.